complete and total domination by the Kentucky Wildcats over the Tennessee Volunteers as the Wildcats get their first win in Neyland Stadium since 1984. Player of the game today for your Kentucky Wildcats will be none other than Jared Garbage Tano, Garen Succo, a complete and worthless bum at a quarterback position. Y'all, if y'all don't want to hear me bash the Tennessee, just click off now. Because it ain't going to be good today, y'all. Just, just this whole team, besides give or take a couple of players, losers, quitters, bums. I mean, how else can you put it? Um, we sit here week in, week out, having to listen to Jerome Pruitt give us bull crap about how JG's the best option we got at Tennessee. Jerome's in his third year as Tennessee coach. He should have been fired. I was on here. He should have been fired after the Georgia State loss. That was totally unacceptable. Not, not to mention, you know, and it's just, it's stuff like this is going to continue to happen. It was a complete sham job of what he did to Brian Maurer in the ball game last year. He brings in Maurer for one series and then pulls him. And by damn, he did the same thing today to JT Shroud. Same as that thing. Brings him Garrett Garbage Tano's in there sucking up the game. Just he's worthless, y'all. He's been I've been saying y'all y'all who watch my videos, I've been saying that year in and year out now for four years. We shouldn't have to keep saying this, y'all. And like it's I've been saying this the, for four years. It's never gonna change. We didn't need to we didn't need to be at this point that we're in to know it wasn't gonna change. He has no clue what's going on, um, and you know, at this point, if Pruitt if Pruitt doesn't want to take the steps that he needs to take to get rid of him, get him off off the field, then Pruitt's the problem. Winky's the problem. Um, Cheney's the problem, and you know, Fat Bill can even be the problem because Fat Bill. Before the season gave Jerome Pruitt a raise and an extension. So, totally unacceptable to get blown out by Kentucky. Like, was I even worried about this game this week to Kentucky? No, because we beat Kentucky every single year. Oh, wait, we didn't this year. We suck. Well, Tennessee football is never going to be back. So, th this is, um, I mean, this is, y'all can say what you want. This is worse off than uh, the Lyle Jones debacle. Um, it's never going to get any better. We actually have talent there this year, but we're letting one player dictate that we suck, and it's just it's just ridiculous. Jerome Pruitt has no clue what he's doing as a head coach. He's out here he's out here costing us costing us 15 yards, getting on sportsman like conduct penalties, and it's just retarded. It's just stupid. This shit isn't acceptable. It's never going to be acceptable. Any Vols fan who who is ex, who thinks that we're rebuilding and this is fine, y'all have at it because you like I said, we've been rebuilding for ten years. It doesn't take by year three, we should be winning games. But we're not. We're letting we're letting a loser quarterback dictate our seasons. So I'm done with it. Fire them all for all I care. Like, it doesn't... And then we just have to listen to Pruitt. Oh, well, besides a couple of plays in that first half, we played good. No, bro. Nah. Y'all were down 24-7 to 7 at halftime. Y'all were not playing good. And as far as this week, like, it ain't gonna matter if we're... It, it don't matter if we spend 100 hours a week just practicing or zero hours this week. We're about... To, Alabama's about to roll into Knoxville next weekend and kick our ass. Like, it's gonna be bad. And then we're going to be sitting at 2 and 3. So, all y'all can keep on loving on JG because he sucks. This whole team sucks today. And it's just never going to change. We should know that by now. Y'all have a good one. Go Vols. Y'all enjoy the Alabama-Georgia game. As much as I hate to say it, I think Georgia's got something for them tonight. What can we say? Go Big Orange.